hey, what's going on, friend? Juan Pablo here. So I get it, right? You might be a family man, family woman, and uh, being that you have uh, a certain duty, right, to take care of your family, be there for your family, give them your time, your attention, your love, your resource, and all that good stuff. But you also want to get to the next level financially. And you want to get to that next level financially without having to work additional hours at the nine to five, right? Because you understand that that's just addition and you want multiplication, right? And you're somewhat uh, <laughs> bougie, for lack of a better term, but let's say a different word, let's say selective in regards to how that money is made, right? You're not so much interested in getting more uh, earned income. In fact, you want more passive income, okay? So the question is this, how do you go about doing it? How do you go about balancing family and also getting to that next level where real estate is concerned, right? So that way you can have a ton of cash in the bank, but more importantly, have the time available to spend it with whom you want to spend it with, like your family, okay? So I just want to give you a few tips of how I go about doing it and hopefully it will help, okay? So one of the things I say is this in regards to family. If you already had a nine to five and you have a family, right let's say wife husband kids and so forth or maybe you got some parents you're taking care of whatever the case may be you gotta buckle down a, a lot more on your calendar okay at times you know you might have your nine to five your kids and with your spare time you might be a tad bit more uh lenient with it meaning oh yeah let's just go to the movies or oh yeah let's just um watch netflix or oh yeah let's do this let's do that and you might be a, a tad bit more carefree where the five to nine is concerned. You know, when you're done with the nine to five, you might have an hour or two with your family, with yourself, and you still may have, um, you may have an hour or two with your family and, you know, working out in the gym and so forth, but you might have like one solid hour solely to yourself in which you can do whatever you want. And typically what you may do is you may spend that hour doing activities that's not necessarily productive in regard to getting you to that next level of real estate. So that's one of the first things I recommend is getting airtight on your calendar. Not saying you gotta work every single day towards real estate, not saying that you need to work 20 hours a week towards real estate, but at least plan out your day, your activities. From the time you go to sleep to the time you wake up, from the time you wake up to the time you go back to sleep, that full 24 hours, plan it out on your calendar see exactly how every hour, even every 30 minutes of your day is spent, let's say from the nine to five. And once you do that, you'll realize there could be some activities you can cut out to make up room for new activities, such as investing in real estate. So that's one of the first things I recommend is your calendar. Now you might be that person and say, hey Juan, I'm not really skilled with time management. I never took a course on it. And in fact, even at my nine to five, my boss, my supervisor, they create my calendar for me. I've never had that skill set develop. Well, it's time to develop it. And we can help you with that if you actually need some assistance with um, getting clarity uh, on, your, on your calendar. That's the first thing you need to do. And another point I wanna make is this. You gotta start trimming, up, trimming the fat. Meaning if there's activities in your calendar that is not gonna help you get to the next level financially in real estate, you might want to consider either reducing those activities or, sad to say, eliminate those activities. If it's not helping you, then why do it? I get it, you gotta watch your show. I get it, you might have to, you know, get your me time, right? Because it's your prerogative, you work hard, you deserve to, to indulge in whatever you like to do to, to let your hair down. But just think about it. If you sacrifice the goal, then the goal becomes a sacrifice, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna sacrifice for the goal. And just keep, this is the key thing. It's a short-term sacrifice. So it's not like you're gonna be sacrificing whatever you like to do. Let's say it's um, you know, your favorite show on Netflix, right? It's not like you're gonna be sacrificing this, this task for decades on end. It could be a couple days, couple weeks, couple months, couple years. But trust me, the reward <laughs> that you receive at the end of this process, at the end of that sacrifice, will be well worth the sacrifice, okay? So I, I, I definitely encourage you to jot down all your activities and highlight those activities that are not helping you produce the results you want in real estate and potentially reduce them to a lesser amount or cut them out altogether. So that way 
you can free up more time to focus on the real estate investing activities. Now, you might be that person in which you might be, let's say, a high income earner, you might have your family and friends in which you barely make time for them. And being that you barely make time for them and you work long hours at your day job, and after you do this exercise I just share with you, you may have little to no time to still invest in real estate. So what should you do? Well, uh, train passing by. One of the things I do recommend is you outsource it. Outsource it, yes, you can actually outsource your real estate investment strategy, right? For instance, if I don't have time to clean my house, I'll outsource it to a person who can do it better for me. If I don't have time to do my laundry, if I don't have time to wash my car, all these services can be done on my behalf, right? Because what you want to get to, my friend, is the point of uh, being a business owner. What is the difference between business owners and employees? Employees trade their hours their time for money but entrepreneurs business people investors they trade their money for other people's time and that's what I do I buy people's time okay now if you are the high income earner I highly recommend that you buy people's time and outsource that activity of real estate investing and just make sure when you do so that not only you outsource it but you still have the time available to learn the ropes along the way it's kind of like Comparing the, the execution with the education, all right? So if you're wondering, well, how can I outsource that one, Pablo, my best strategy? Well, um, if, especially if it's in real estate investing, you can reach out to us. We actually have free training that will help you learn a little bit more about creative financing and multifamily properties. And at the end of that free training, if you're interested in learning more to see how we can help you with, with you outsourcing your investment strategy. So it's somewhat hands off, but you're still being taught you're acquiring the knowledge of how to acquire multifamily properties. So if you're interested, that's you. Make sure you check the link below to learn more. As always, guys, to your success, continue to earn past, and live past. Peace.